instead going to draw a pile of leaves. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's a folding surprise, so when it's folded up, it'll just look like a pile of leaves, but then when you open it, what's going to be inside? Hey, kid, jumping into the pile of leaves. Yeah, you need your drawing supplies. We're going to use, what is this? A marker. A marker, and they also need some? Paper. And what else do they need? Something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Oh, yeah. Actually, we're going to fold it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first, we're going to fold our paper. We're going to take the top edge and line it up with the bottom. And I can also help you if, if you need it. Once it's lined up, there you go. Yeah, line up the corners. Oh, almost right here on the side. Line it up. Oh, right there. there. Yeah. And then fold it down the middle and then out to the corners. Yes. There you go in the middle and then out to the corners. Then we're going to take this and we're going to line it up to the top edge. Yep, take the top flap and line it up. I'll fold mine down and then crease it down. There you go. And then hold it right here and then down. Down the middle and then out to the corners. Yes. Good job, Livy. Now let's flip over our paper and repeat that step. We're going to take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, crease it down the middle and out to the corners. I'll hold it right in the middle. There you go. And then down and then out to the corners. Yes, you did it. This is just a guide fold. So let's unfold it and flatten it out. There you go and flatten it. Yes. Then we're going to flip over our paper. To the other side. Yeah, to the other side. We're also going to change this a little different from our other folding surprises and we're going to flip it upside down so that when you open it, let me see if I can get it. Here's the flap. When you open it, it opens down like this and yours does that too, right? Yeah. yeah, we're just checking. It does. We also have some scratch paper that we'll put underneath our drawing paper. This is just to protect our table. It doesn't have to be red, just scratch paper because we're using markers that we don't want to get onto our table. Now we're ready to draw our leaf pile. Yes. Yeah. You got your marker? Yeah. Okay, down at the bottom, we're going to draw a zigzag line right here, and we're going to go up and down all the way across our paper. So we're going to start, yes, right there. And you can start, how about you start over here. Since you're left-handed, hold your paper right here, and you start your zigzags on this side, and then work this way. Because I'm holding it, it makes it a little easier. There you go. This is grass, and we're going to draw all the way down the bottom part. Yes. Good job, Olivia. I'm going to draw it all the way across the bottom, too, just like you. That's our grass. Now we're ready to draw our leaf pile. And we want to make sure on this step that we don't draw anything over the fold. We want to draw our leaf pile below the fold. So your grass got a little high right here. So we're going to draw, maybe you could draw kind of a big leaf pile that comes up this way. We don't want to go over the fold and then we're going to come down. But watch me. We're going to draw a zigzag line, but it's a little different than the grass. See how the grass is really sharp, yeah. sharp and lots of zigzags. This one, we're going to make big zigzags like this for the leaves. And we're going to come all the way over to this side. So we can start here draw, and we'll make sure we're below the fold and then down here. Oh, I like it. Good job. You could even make your leaf pile a little bit bigger. Start over here on this side and work this way and come up a little closer to the fold. There you go. Zigzags. Oh, I love that you have another line. Ooh, lots of zigzags. Do big zigzags too. Big ones. Yes. Good job. We did it. There's our leaf pile. We're going to make it look even better once we color it, but let's add leaves falling from the sky. Let's start up here and we're going to draw one line like that. Yes. And you can make it a little bit bigger too, if you want, or longer. There you go. And then we're going to draw an oval shape that comes around for the leaf. Yes. I love your leaf. Now let's draw another one. This time we're going to draw the diagonal line going a different direction. Let's draw it right here going this way. Yes. And then let's do the same thing we did over here. We're going to start here, come around and draw an oval shape 
for the leaf. So you can start right here and then draw an oval that comes around and then back. Yes, okay, let's add even more leaves. I'm gonna draw one going this way and we'll draw an oval going around so we can draw it almost coming straight down. There you go, and then add the oval around it. Oh, I love your leaves, and I love that your leaf pile doesn't look exactly the same as mine. They're both turning out awesome, and that's because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. Yes, remember to practice. It's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I'm sure they're turning out awesome. In fact, I hope their drawings do look different. You can add even more leaves. I, I think we should add more leaves too. Yeah. This part we're going to fast forward, but you guys can pause the video to add extra things to your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We finished drawing all of our leaves. We even added some down here below the fold. Now we're ready to open up our paper and we're gonna flatten it out. So we can open it up and flatten it. There you go. And then this other part too, and then flatten it out. Yeah, you can put your marker down if that makes it easier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then flatten this one out too. Yeah. Now we're ready to draw our kid jumping into the pile of leaves. Now we're gonna draw a circle first. So we'll draw it right here above the fold. I'm gonna draw it kind of big. We're gonna draw it right here, a circle. I'll help you hold your paper. Yes. Then we're gonna draw the letter U and we're gonna start here on the left side and we're gonna draw it coming down like this and then back up and connect to the other side. So start there, come down like this, and back around. Yeah, that's our kid's body. Now let's add his face or her face. We're gonna start here and let's draw a mouth. Maybe they're screaming, they're jumping into the pile of leaves. So we'll draw a little mouth right there. And then let's color in that shape. And we could also draw their eyes closed since they're Jumping in, they're not sure what's gonna happen. <laughs> so we're drawing sideways letter V's for closed eyes. <laughs> then we can also draw a C, a letter C for one ear, and a backward C for the other ear. Then let's come down here and we'll draw the arms hanging onto the legs. We're gonna start on this side and we're gonna draw it coming over like this, around, and then back out. So we can start here, come around, and then back. Yes, and then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We can start on this side, and we'll come around for the other arm. <laughs> and then let's draw a line here, and a line here for the sleeves. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw the legs. Let's draw a line right down the middle first. So we could draw a line right here, straight down. Yep, and then we're gonna draw another line on the left side and another line on the right side. I'm gonna go up higher too, so you can come all the way up there if you want. And then we're gonna draw the feet or the shoes. We're gonna draw a sideways letter U right here. We can start here, come around, and then back to this line. Yes, and then let's do the, the other foot for the other leg. <laughs> yes. What's our kid missing? Hair. Yeah, hair. Mine's just bald like me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's draw a zigzag line going across the forehead to the other side. So we'll start here. Oh, you could even just draw a line that comes up to here and then down. Yes. And then on yours, let's draw a line from here up to here. Your hair is, it's like your hair. It's really long, but it's it's up in the air because she's jumping into the leaves. Yeah. There you go. And then you could draw a line that goes across. And more lines. Yeah, more lines for all the hair. <laughs> I love it. That looks perfect. Let's draw action lines so it looks like our kid is jumping and there's motion. So we're going to draw a big curve on the left side. And then we're gonna start close right here and we're gonna come up and like we're gonna connect to the head. So we can start right here and then connect. Oh, almost a big curve, almost connect. And then we did it. And then inside we could draw little dash lines like this going to show motion. Like our kid is jumping through the air. So you could draw dash lines coming. There you go. Yes. 
The only thing we need to add next is more leaves. We're gonna fast forward this part again, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to draw your leaves. You ready to fast forward again? Yeah. We did it, we finished drawing all of our leaves and it looks really cool, except we're not completely done. What do we still need to do? We still need to color it. Yeah, this is my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward one more time, so remember to pause the video and take that extra time to color your drawings. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Give me five. We did it. We finished coloring our pile of leaves and I love all of the different colors. We use yellow, red, and orange and we also color the grass green and we have all of the colorful leaves up here at the top. I even added motion lines for my leaves so they look like they're falling too. <laughs> uh, should we show our friends the inside? Yeah. Okay. On the count three. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Happy, Happy fall! fall. <laughs> I love your little girl so much, especially because it looks like you when you jump into the pool. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring, but we just colored all the leaves different colors. And you could color your person like you. You could also change the colors. You could add even more things. Maybe you could draw more kids jumping into the pile of leaves. Or maybe a kid like saying, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could draw. <laughs> that would be really cute. We hope you have fun drawing a pile of leaves. We do, and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.